Okay, let's try and add these two fractions together by finding a common denominator. And the way that we're going to find the common denominator is by finding a least common multiple between the two denominators we're given. So we have 25 and 15. We want to find the least common multiple. So multiples of 25. 25 times 1 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50 times 3 is 75, times 4 is 100, times 5 is 125, times 6 is 150, times 7 is 175, and I'll stop there. So we got a 7 multiples. Now let's do 15. Times 1 is 15, times 2 is 30, times 3 is 45, times 4 is 60, times 5 is 75. And now we can stop because we notice that there's a 75 in both lists. And so 75 is a common multiple. It's also the least common multiple because it's the smallest number that's the same in both lists. Lists. <laughs> okay. So now it's time to figure out how did we get 75. Well, we did 3 times 25 was equal to 75. And over here, we did, uh, this is equal to 5 times 15. Okay, so we know what we need to do now. We're going to multiply this by 3 over 3. Because we want this denominator to be 75. Uh, but we don't want to change the fraction, so we have to multiply by 3 over 3 because that's the same as multiplying by 1. So we don't change the fraction. We're just changing the way it looks. Okay, over here we need to multiply by 5 over 5 because again we want this denominator to be 75. And 15 times 5 is 75. Okay. Let me get rid of that. And what's our result? Well, 4 times 12, that's, sorry, f 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 25 is 75, like we said. Plus, 7 times 5 is 35. And 15 times 5 is, again, 75, just like we said. And now we have a common denominator. And so we can add these two fractions together. So this is going to be... Uh, 12 plus 35, which is 47. And we just keep that same common denominator, 75. Okay, I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video.